Hello everyone, my name is Lily and this is my new channel about the technologies, crypto and gadgets. In today's video we are going to learn how to build your own Ethereum mining rig at home. We will also talk about how much it costs you, how much you can make per day and what are the common mistakes and how to avoid them. I will show you how to build your GPUs and how to set up your mining rig. I still believe it is doable in 2021, so let's get started. Since I'm gonna use. So here's my frame. Uh, we are going to use six NVIDIA 3070 RTX cards. I have two power supplies by Kursa 750 Watt Platinum. Here is my motherboard Biostar TB360 Pro. I have risers and VGA cables from Amazon. I have SSD 120GB. Here is my CPU i3 8th generation. And here is my memory card. Here is my VAT 6 GPU frame. You can stack them together if you are planning to install 12 cards. First, we have to connect our motherboard to the frame. I already installed CPU, fan and the memory. Now let's install one PSU and connect 24 pin cable and CPU cable to the motherboard. On this stage I always suggest to check if the motherboard will load because if it's not there is a problem either with UMB memory or CPU and it makes no sense to move further. Now I'm just stacking my second PSU. Okay, this is done, let's try. Perfect, everything runs fine. Now let's power it on off and continue our build. Now let's connect all of the cables to PSU number one. I'm connecting SATA cables to power our risers. Keep in mind guys, even though each cable has an ability to connect four risers, I wouldn't suggest connecting more than two risers to one SATA cable. Now let's connect VGA cables to power our GPUs. Corsa has high durable nicely wrapped cables if you compare it to other brands. I also like EVGO power supplies and use them as well. VGA cable as well as CPU cable can be connected to any of the 8 pin slots on your PSU. In EVGA, for example, CPU connector has different slots. Never mix the cables from different PSU units. It might burn your PSU or other components of your rig. Also, I have a touch power button. can be shown here on this frame. After your rig is complete, you can power it either by the button or by the touching the connectors with a screwdriver. See the screenshot. While I'm connecting other cables, Take a look on my 24 pin cable from PSU number 1. If you are using Biostar TB360 Pro, you have to connect 24 pin from the PSU number 1 to the power slot marked number 1 on your motherboard. And if you are using PSU splitter, you don't need to connect second PSU to the motherboard. Let's connect the cables to the PSU number 2. 24 pin cable goes to the motherboard slot number 2. Now I'm connecting one VGA and one SATA to connect GPUs powered by PSU number 2. Well, I definitely need some cable management skills here.
I'm connecting SATA cable to power SSD. I suggest keeping this cable separate of any risers just for storage connection. One VGA cable from PSU number one has to power PCAE slots on the motherboard. Please follow my directions. Now we're gonna connect risers to the cart. At this stage, since you did not install the windows yet, you can leave one cart on your riser plugged in a 16 pin connector. I recommend installing Windows now while you have only one GPU plugged in your rig. Remember, only two risers connections per SATA cable. I've seen a lot of videos where people were burning their rigs because of the wrong connections. I just installed my first GPU. I have five more to go, let's go! These 3070s by Subfire have only one 8-pin slot. Some 30 series cards have two 8-pin slots. I will connect two GPUs per VGA cable with this cable splitters from Amazon. In my build we have four cards and four risers powered by first PSU unit. Each card consumes about 130 watt. Total consumption of 520 watt by four cards. Plenty of room in our PSU to cover this amount. Just as a reminder, I'm using Corsa 750 watt platinum. Another two cards will be connected to the PSU number two. Also guys, I would like to go through the pricing, as I promised. Total cost for this ring was about $5,200. I was lucky to get the cards at a very good price, which is almost impossible these days. Keep in mind guys, 3070s at the OTC market are about $1,100 per card now. 3060 Ti are the same performance, might be a little bit cheaper for you. Obviously, you can use other series as well or AMD cards. I like to use Nvidia just because it's easier to maintain. I'm checking daily with new egg, eBay and Amazon for a good deals on the cards. As for other equipment, it's still pretty affordable to buy. The only concern might be a motherboard but I think you can still find it at $300-$400 range for the good motherboard. I like Biostar and Astrock and had a good experience with them both. Please read carefully the motherboard compatibility with CPU and RAM. I learned it hard way when I switched from TB250 to TB360 and 7th gen processor were not longer supported even though you can physically fit it in in CPU slot. I couldn't start the rig. I started to troubleshoot and figure out myself by simply looking on the website and what the processors are compatible. Uh, I assemble my mining rig. Let's see if it works. Everything should be fine. I still have to do cable management. I'll do it later uh, when I finish. Uh, I also installed my uh, fans to cool off my GPUs. Uh, you will also will need this Wi-Fi connector to connect to the internet. 
and yeah, it's working. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you have any questions, ask them down below. Like my video and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And in the next video, I will show you how to set up the mining pool. Thank you.